Hey guys. Well, for this video, this is going to be a video for like a little bit of a shout out for my YouTube buddy Dave's Nightmare because I've noticed that he has not done a video in seven months, not since his Blu ray vs. DVD um, video. <clears throat> So I was looking back at um, some of his videos, and I just remembered his Scream video where he showed like all the movies, talked about them. I even own those movies myself, see? Here's a box that has the first three movies in it. And also the fourth one as well, so I own all those movies as well. And so I thought I'd just do in this video to also like um, help motivate Dave's Nightmare to like do another video because um, I've noticed that um, some of my videos have motivated Nigel Bureaus to do a couple of more videos. And I hope he does more videos too. And so, this one's to help um, Dave's Nightmare, <clears throat> to help motivate him, sorry, to do more videos. And so while looking at his Scream video, I actually started thinking, you know, there was another horror trilogy that I actually really liked. It actually was made to like cash in on the success of the Scream movies, and I mean I've actually watched these movies when I was a kid. It's actually one of the trilogies that got me into horror because at the time when Scream came out, and also this series as well, I wasn't allowed to watch horror movies or anything R-rated in general at the time when those movies came out. But with permission from my parents, I got to um, watch these movies, but there was a catch though. The catch was that I couldn't see them in the theaters. I had to wait for them to come out on video. So like we just rented them at Blockbuster and whatnot. <clears throat> and, and heck, um, when I saw Scream 4, which was the first Scream movie I saw in the theater, this one, that was the first one I saw in the theaters, I actually was very excited because it brought back all those memories. And so let's just get started. This is going to be my little review on these three movies. And you probably already know what it is since I just said that was made to cash in on the um, Scream series. So, Dave's Nightmare, I know you're going to be watching this. I was going to say this is for you, buddy. It's the I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy. And this is the box set, which I believe is probably out of print now. But I'm sure you can still get these movies on individual DVDs, though. It comes with the three movies. These three. I know what you did last summer. I still know what you did last summer. And I'll always know what you did last summer. So I'll just talk about these a little individually for a little bit. So let's start with the first movie. I know what you did last summer. So this stars um, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Geller, and what's his name again? Ryan Phillips. So, like, you know, this movie was um, made back in the, um, <clears throat> what was it, I think 1998, if I remember correctly. And um, <clears throat> when I first saw this movie, it scared me because I was a little kid, of course, like I mentioned before. And I still actually remember <clears throat> thinking, oh my god, this is gonna, gonna be creepy and whatnot. This is gonna be pretty gross and whatnot. I felt the same way when I saw the Scream movies. So this movie is about um, these um, four friends on 4th of July, like, you know, they're um, partying, getting drunk, and then, like, one day while they're driving on the highway, they accidentally hit this um, man that, um, that they never met. I mean, like, it's a strange guy they don't know, so they hit him, and then they want to um, hide the evidence, so they um, dump his body in the river. But then a year later passes, and they receive a note that says, I know what you did last summer, hence the title. And so they're trying to, like, figure out, like, you know, who it is, who's this, um, this mystery person who sent, um, Jeffrey Love Hewitt, Julie, if I remember correctly, yeah, Julie, <clears throat> who's the one who sent her this letter. And so, like, they're probably thinking maybe it's this person, or maybe it's probably, um, Someone else, like, you know, maybe a family member of this guy. And so then they start um, getting stalked by this um, mysterious man wearing a fisherman's suit, a hat, a coat. And he um, <clears throat> stalks him with this um, hook. And you can't really see it that well over here. You can see it a little bit. Yeah. And so 
<clears throat> so, like, you know, I actually thought this was a um, pretty good 90s um, slasher movie. I mean, I always was a fan of, like, you know, the um, hook in this movie. I always was, like, you know, a fan of, like, the um, deaths in this. And like I said, I was scared of this movie when I first saw it. Yeah, and all in all, I actually thought this was a um, pretty good 90s movie. I know it, at first, it didn't do well at the um, time of its release, but I know it has fans now. Plus, like me. But I've always was a fan of this movie. And so then, a couple years later, came the sequel. I still know what you did last summer. And, of course, Freddie Prince Jr. and Jennifer Love Hewitt reprised their roles in this. And, um, so this one's set a year later, and, um, Julie is, um, now attending college. And, um, so, and, like, you know, her friend, who's played by Brandy, I bear, oh, I should also say roommate, oh, roommate, friend, same thing, no. And, um, so they, um, win this trip to, um, the, um, this island, in this Bahamas island. So they go on vacation there, only to be stalked again by the fisherman himself. And, um, I mean, just like the first one, I was scared of this movie too at the time when I saw it. I mean, the death scene in this, and this was definitely a lot more graphic horror movie tradition, of course. Also, Jeffrey Combs, who played the reanimator, has a small um, appearance in this movie as well. And also, Jack Black, believe it or not, also has a little small appearance as well. And his death always, like, you know, freaked me out when I first saw it. I was going, oh no! Uh. <laughs> yeah, so, like, um, I definitely liked, um, the, um, the atmosphere of this one as well. Like, you know, I liked, like, you know, the, um, climax, like, you know, taking place in, like, the rain in the graveyard. I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, it really scared me as a kid. <laughs> and I've, I mean, <coughs> sorry. And so, like, you know, I definitely um, recommend this one too. If you're a fan of the first one, you'll like this one too. And then came this um, straight to DVD sequel in 2006, which I know a lot of people didn't like. I mean,. I can kind of see why, to be honest. I can see why people don't like this one. But, like, you know, when I first saw this, like, I forgot what year it was, 2007, I think, if I remember correctly. May have been that year. Man. <clears throat> and, to be, to be honest, when I first saw this, I mean, like, I did, didn't have, like, you know, any, like, high expectations of any sort. I mean, like, I grew, grew up watching these two as a kid. And so I was... Wasn't expecting much from it, especially the straight DVD. So I watched it, and I actually turned out liking this one. So yeah, a lot of people like hated this one, but I actually liked it for what it was. I mean, this one follows a different um, group of friends. Like it, it didn't have like you know too much of a connection to the first one or the second one, I should say. Didn't have too much connection. I mean, they do reference it though. Like there was this one part where the main girl did like you know bring out this um, folder had like these documents of the um, events from the first one and second one. So there's a little bit of our connection right over there. So yeah, it's connected. But like, you know, um, I understand that people just didn't like the fact that Jennifer Love Hewitt and um, Freddie Prince Jr. and Brandy, the survivors of the second movie, didn't come back. I did read that they were originally going to, but I'm not sure, like, you know, why though? I mean, they're not really doing much these days, to be honest, so I felt they could have came back though. But, but overall, overall, I still thought this was pretty good. I mean, like, it was a little bit of a rehash of the first one. Like, this one's about, like, you know, these, um, group of friends, like, they talk about the, um, legends of the, um, the fisherman who comes out on the 4th of July to, um, to, um, like, kill teenagers. And so then, like, you know, while they're at this carnival, they pull this little prank. So they take out their fisherman costume, their hook, and they pull a little prank. But... Then one of the friends that um, that was also in on this prank too, he accidentally gets killed during that prank, and so then like you know these four over here now have to um, cover up that whole thing. So now like you know they're making the prank look like it really happened now. So but then like you know just like the um, 
first one, the main girl gets, instead of a letter, she gets a text that says, I know what you did last summer, a year later. So then they start getting um, stalked one by one by the um, fisherman himself. You can see actually a little bit more of the hook in this picture over here than the other ones. It's more like down while this one's more up. I mean, I just, I just thought like, you know, the um, gore effects, the death scenes in this were pretty good. I also liked um, the darkness of this one. <clears throat> and I think that's really all I gotta say. I mean, like I said, they um, did like, you know, just recast everybody. They're not the same characters, not the same actors or actresses. Heck, even they recast the fisherman himself. Like, the Fisherman was actually played by Don Shanks, who I've met, by the way. He played Michael Myers in Halloween 5. Well, in these two, he's played by... Let me see if I can find it. Uh, doesn't say her over here. Oh, Moose Watson. Yeah, he played him in the first two movies, while Don Shanks played him in this one. But yeah, I, I see why people don't like this one, but personally, I do like it. And I think that's all I really gotta say. I mean, like, um... So, like, you know, of course it was not as good as these two movies. Like, these two are definitely pretty good, so... I definitely recommend these ones. But if you're a fan of Slasher, then I would say check this one out. I mean, it's not... <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt you to, like, you know, check it out, even if it was just one time. Yeah, so, so this trilogy is, well, it's not one, not like my favorite trilogy, but it's like, you know, definitely right up there, so it's definitely a horror trilogy that I hold close to me, along with Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hellraiser, Sleepaway Camp, of course, and of course, like, you know, so... So I grew up watching these um, horror movies as a kid, and so I feel maybe I just can't hate these ones. I did hear actually um, a while back, like after Scream 4 came out, that they were thinking of doing another I Know What You Did Last Summer that was going to be ignoring this one and taking place after this one and having um, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Freddie Prince Jr., and Brandy all come back for it. But to be honest, I have a feeling it's probably canceled because that was like, you know, rumored a while back, so. So, you never know. I mean, I would have definitely liked Freddie Prince Jr., Jeff Love, and Brandy to come back for another I Know What You Did Last Summer movie. But maybe in the way, maybe they're as happy with what they're doing right now. Maybe they, they're probably thinking maybe the pay is not much with doing, like, TV movies, TV shows. But at least, like, you know, they're probably just happy with what they're doing. Maybe, like, it, maybe there's probably benefits to, to what that um, they have. And so I think that's basically it for all I gotta say about the I Know What You Did movies. And I'm not sure if Dave's Nightmare ever saw these three movies. Probably has, yeah. And so I think that's all I gotta say. If you haven't seen I Know What You Did Summer, check all three of them out, man. Great movies over here. Alright, and that's all I gotta say. See you next time.